thing I don't like when people do it, I don't like when people hate on Hallie. I don't care if people think she wrong or not, or if I think she wrong or right. She could be going through something mentally after having a kid that I can't understand as a man. So when situations like this happen, I ha I try to handle it with as much grace as possible because Halo needs her, you know. I need her. We we need each other to create a a childhood that's safe and fun and memorable for him. And Halo is the biggest blessing in my life. Like I I don't know. Like I don't remember what life was like before Halo. And I wouldn't have him if it wasn't for Hallie. And for that reason alone, like I got unconditional love and respect for her that nobody can really change. And y'all gotta understand we going through a very different transition right now. We only been parents for 10 months. Now we going through like a little breakup, whatever, you know what I'm saying? Like y'all gotta understand we going through something, you know, that's a little, you know, it's hard for us. So when little stuff like this happen, it's really nothing. People go through this type of stuff all the time. I just don't appreciate when people try to put me against her or it's like me versus her and all of this and she's wrong and he's right, blah, blah, blah. Like, y'all can hate on me for as long as y'all want, but leave Hallie alone, man. Mentally, y'all don't know what she's going through when it comes to postpartum. She just pushed the whole human out. She dealing with a whole new life. Like, she has to put everything, you know, not on pause, but she has to always consider Halo in every situation. I do too. But, you know, as a mother, I know it's way more detrimental. So I got way thicker skin. My skin is just overly thick when it comes to online backlash. But I know for her, it's something very, very new. And I just, I'm just asking y'all just to chill. And let's go back to regular scheduled programming. Like, no one's perfect. We are only humans. So, I just don't like it. Don't like it, y'all. That doesn't do me any good whatsoever. Me and her getting into it is no good for nobody. Either one of us. So, we are family. That is my family forever. And um, we're going to figure it out plain and simple um with that being said we're gonna get back to the smiles and the good times and the entertainment so ddg hopped online and was just defending his baby mama hallie because she deleted her twitter after she made a post about she didn't appreciate him taking their son halo on casting that stream and then everybody was going in on her time song that's his son too how you gonna tell him what to do like he's the dad I'm pretty sure he gonna make sure he good in a safe environment like everybody was going in. Like that shit straight up backfired on her. Even though I understood her position. She like, look, if you gonna do something like that, like take our son on a huge platform like that, at least let me know. But I feel like she went about it the wrong way. Like she got on social media when she should have called him. Like I understand she going through postpartum depression and she probably stressed and extra emotional. But when you put shit on social media, you inviting everybody in your life. You inviting everybody to give an opinion. So when you do that, you got to deal with everything that come with it. And I understand DDG. He like, look, give her grace. She going through a lot. Let her figure it out. But they got to stop putting that shit on social media. Like, that's it. When they first broke up, I think they um, following each other and deleting pictures. That's how people are going to know. If you don't worry about it in your business, you got to stop showing it. Like, that's my only thing. Like, I don't know how Holly is. Like, is she very sensitive to social media? Because she seems like she is if she deleted her whole shit. So, they just got to keep shit private. That's it, man. What y'all think about this, boy? Be